Today we're making a training video for the DSC Maxis keypad, how to work that keypad. Any questions that you might have, you can review this video. I'll talk quickly, but you can go back and review the video. So a DSC Maxis system. There are typically on a DSC Maxis system multiple partitions. Partitions are different areas of the bank. Each partition has some of the zones, another partition has some of the zones, another partition some of the zones. Um, those partitions are usually at a bank broken up into the bank partition, which is usually number one, the teller partition, which is usually number two, and the janitor partition, number three. Some of our customers only have a bank and a janitor partition. Some of our customers have a bank, teller, janitor, and an ATM partition, which is a fourth partition. So these partitions can be broken up, but the information is the same on how to work them. Um, some codes are given that can work only the bank partition, some only the, just the teller partition, some just the janitor partition. For example, the janitors can only work the janitor partition, which has just doors and motion detectors in it. In those, those are the zones that it has. On the keypad, um, the most important thing when you're arming or disarming or doing anything with a keypad or an alarm system is to read the keypad. The screen tells you what's going on on the keypad. Uh, the different partitions are uh, one, two, three here on the, drawn out with this example. Underneath those partitions, it tells you what the system is doing. Um, there's different things that it will say. If it has an N underneath that partition, that means that it is not ready to be armed. Um, this being number one, the bank partition, it probably has the vault door open or one of those zones is open. That means that it's not ready to be armed. And R underneath of the number partition means that it is ready to arm, the zones are closed. If it has an exclamation point underneath it, it means that the alarm has gone off or it is going off. That exclamation point stays all day until you clear it if there's been an alarm. Um, if there's an A underneath the partition, it means that it is armed and there's a, typically a red armed light that will, sit, that will be on and red and that means that it's armed also. So. That's some of the different pieces of the keypad. On every keypad, on every DSC alarm system keypad, there are a couple buttons over here. The, the, the asterisk, I hate to say that sometimes, we say star. The asterisk means that's the select function. So whatever it's saying on the screen, if you want to select what it's saying, you push asterisk and it selects that. If you push the pound sign, that is in an exit or a return function. If you've punched a code in wrong and you don't know what to do, push the pound sign four times. Exit, 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 return, return, return. And it takes you back to the beginning. The arrow signs, which are these two buttons on a keypad, uh, is how you scroll through the different menus. So it's the next or the previous. You see something on the screen, that's not what you want to do. You push the arrow key, right or left, and it'll scroll, scroll through that menu. And so those buttons are very important. If you're reading the screen, you'll know what to do. Typically when you arm a DSC system, a Maxis system, you punch in your four digit code and it will say asterisk to arm your partitions. And you push it because that's what you want to do is arm your partitions, select and it arms your partitions. So let's talk about what the partitions are and how they're set up. If this, if we've got bank, teller and janitor on this system and these are our zones, we've got eight zones. We've got a vault door, a night drop, an ATM, motion, door, door, desk buttons, money clips. The bank partition includes everything on that system is on partition number one. So if partition number one is disarmed, the entire bank is disarmed. Everything, every piece of that system is disarmed. The teller, the teller typically only has the night drop and the motion detectors and the doors. So. If the bank is armed, but the teller is disarmed, that means the night depository, the motion detectors, and the doors are disarmed. The janitor partition has only the motion detectors and the doors. So when the janitors come and clean at 2 o'clock in the morning or whenever they come, they disarm their portion. So let's say the bank and the teller are armed. They come in, their code only disarms the janitor partition, which means that it only disarms the motion detectors and the doors. So, 
in an example where the janitors come in, they disarm the alarm, doors and motions are disarmed, the other two partitions are armed, let's say the janitor forgets to arm their partition when they leave. The next time that the people come in in the morning and open the bank, there's going to be no chime. It's going to not set the motion detectors of the doors off, but if someone doesn't go and check that alarm system and make sure that the bank is disarmed before they go and open the vault door, well, the vault door is still armed with the bank, and so if they open the vault door, the alarm's gonna go off. So, you always go, you check the keypad, read the screen, and make sure that it says, if you want it to say that it's disarmed, you need to make sure that underneath one and two and three that there's no A. You punch in your four-digit code, you scroll if you need to till it says star to disarm your partitions. You push the star or the asterisk and it disarms everything and you're good to go. So we're going to go to the keypad over here, show you how that looks. Here's a keypad. You know, you know your system's a Maxis if it says Maxis on your keypad. Currently, right now, we have partition one, two, and three. You can see that the partition number three is armed. So there's an armed light as well, but it says A. N, number one is not ready, two is ready, and three is armed. So if I punch in my four digit code, I'm not gonna show you what my code is. I'm unable to arm my partitions. You can see it says arrow keys. I'm gonna scroll over, star to disarm your partitions. That's what I wanna do right now. Star to disarm. The armed light just turned off. There's no alarms in memory. If I wait a minute here, I'm going to actually push that exit or return button now a couple times. Wait a minute. One, two, and three will come back up on my screen, and it should say that everything is disarmed. One, two, and three. One is not ready, two is ready, and three is ready. So if I came to here and I wanted to arm my system and I punched in my four-digit code, it's unable to arm my partitions. Why? Well, let's scroll through. It says to push those arrow keys. Scroll through. Bank, star for open zones. Let's see what's open. Press star. The vault door is open. I can scroll. That's the only thing that's open right now. Oh, the front doors are open now. They weren't a minute ago. Vault door. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to press the pound sign. That takes me back to the beginning. If I needed to go close the vault door, I would go close the vault Then arm it. You don't have to do all the things I'm doing right now. Okay. Let's see what it says underneath one, two, and three now. If it says RRR, RRR, it's ready to arm. If I punch in my four digit code, star to arm your partitions. If I press star, that is going to arm everything. It says bypass active because I bypassed things. So the exit delay is in progress. It is going to count down and it will arm all of the zones. If I come in in the morning and I see that it says AAA, it's counting down now. But if I come in in the morning and it's going beep, that means I need to come over and disarm my system. So what do I do? I come over, I punch in my four digit code, and it says, star to disarm your partitions. If it doesn't say that, you push the arrow keys. Bank star to disarm, janitor star to disarm, ATM star to disarm, star for other options. It'll go in a cycle, it comes back around. But star to disarm your partitions, that's what you want. Again, star, press to select function, that's what I wanna do. I press it, it disarms my partitions, there are no alarms in memory, you're good to go. If it doesn't say any of those things, if it throws you off, you don't know what to do, security services can, can talk you through this. They know it like the back of their hand. So you call, you talk to some, one of us, we'll tell you what to push. That's it. Very simple. See you.